For many years, South Africa's HIV burden was amongst the largest in the world. But the country's commitment to eliminate mother-to-child transmission of HIV and improve the health of mothers and babies has changed this. Today, 9 out of 10 pregnant women living with HIV receive antiretrovirals. And between 2009 and 2012, new infections in children under 15 declined by 63%. Leadership and a strong political will have turned the tide on HIV in South Africa. To continue on this path of progress, high coverage of maternal and newborn care services is essential, including quality care during labor and delivery, and dedicated postnatal follow-ups for mother and baby. Amongst other resources, South Africa uses an innovative dashboard featuring key indicators to monitor coverage and progress on these services. For example, if an indicator has a red light next to it, this highlights a service delivery area in need of attention. The more indicators you pick, the poorer the quality of the data and the less focused the program is. So we wanted to be very focused and to have a small number of indicators that we are all committed to collecting, collating and interpreting and then using the data to improve the quality of the program and therefore the performance of the program. Research shows that the quality and coverage of services have vastly improved. According to recent estimates by the Medical Research Council, the current MTCT rate is as low as 2.7%. This has been accompanied by improved maternal and child health outcomes. These results also testify to strong partnerships. And it is through partnerships with development partners, with implementing partners, and of course with communities, that we were able to generate the kind of impact we've had. Now, implementing partners are the ones who work with facilities, with individual healthcare workers in districts, trying to translate the guidelines and the policies into tangible deliverables. And that's where you find the effect of reduction of transmission. When you get mothers coming in early, because we've done something on the demand side, we get them getting proper treatment because we've done something on the supply side. With the 2015 deadline drawing closer, it is even more imperative to identify gaps in the program and improve quality of service at all levels, district, provincial and national. We can do it. We have shown that we can reduce transmission from a significantly high 8% to 2.7 in a very short period of time. And I am convinced that with the application of the cascade, with the use of data on a continuous basis, and with good support, both managerial and technical support to our frontline workers, and with informed communities, we can reach zero. South Africa has committed to continuing on its path of progress in eliminating mother-to-child transmission of HIV and keeping mothers and children alive and healthy.